Now in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus to register all the empire for taxes. This was the first registration taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family line of David. He went to be registered with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds nearby living out in the field, keeping guard over their flock at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were absolutely terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Listen carefully, for I proclaim to you good news that brings great joy to the people. Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a vast heavenly army appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among people with whom he is pleased. When the angels left them and went back to the heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, that the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried off and located Mary and Joseph and found the baby lying in a manger. When they saw him, they related what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were astonished at what the shepherd said. But Mary treasured up all these words, pondering in her heart what they might mean. So the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything was just as they had been told. At the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was named Jesus. He was named Jesus. He was named Jesus. He was named Jesus. The name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. 